Welcome to Fantastic Vision. Please subscribe us before you watch today's video. As we all know, Trump's attitude towards China is not friendly, especially after his second imprisonment. In order to achieve the goal of MEGA, he once shouted the slogan, Let China pay the price. And Trump is not just talking casually, he also does it. In the past few months, Trump has frequently carried out high-pressure provocations against China, cutting off the supply of EDA, high tariffs, and cutting off the supply of C919 large aircraft engines and H-20 chips. Even foreign media began to worry whether such a tough approach will completely decouple Sino-US relations. But what is unexpected is that Trump's change of face is faster than his revocation of the ban. Before he came to Beijing, Trump's attitude towards China has changed 180 degrees. What happened? On the one hand, Trump is eager to facilitate a visit to China, but the Chinese side has not relented. After the fruitful trip to the Middle East, Trump can't wait to start his trip to China. Some media revealed that Trump plans to form a super-luxurious delegation to visit China, inviting dozens of business leaders, such as Huang Rinshuan, Cook, Musk, and Zuckerberg, to join the delegation. From this arrangement, it can be seen that the Chinese market is very important. The reason for Trump's change of attitude has gradually become clear. On the other hand, I believe everyone knows that H20 has been lifted, and after the EDA software supply has resumed, another sharp weapon has been sealed. According to foreign media reports, when discussing the chip control policy towards China, Trump rarely expressed respect and he himself stopped the radical plan. Obviously, after a long period of game, Trump finally realized that suppressing China is a bad strategy of hurting the enemy by a thousand and hurting oneself by eight hundred, and the United States today can't afford it at all. Of course, not only in the chip field, Trump has seen China's determination to be tough in many fields, and has also witnessed the power and speed of China's technology, and it is difficult not to be shocked. For lithography machines, in order to prevent the development of China's chip industry, the United States put pressure on the Dutch ASML company, to prohibit the supply of advanced lithography equipment to China. Faced with such humiliation, Chinese technology companies quickly put away their frustration and, with the strong support of the country, firmly embarked on the road of independent research and development. What shocked the world is that China really supports the development of the integrated circuit industry with the whole country's strength and gambles 344 billion to help the research and development of China's semiconductor industry. In just a few years, China has achieved breakthroughs in core technologies in the field of lithography machines. For example, Shanghai Microelectronics 28 nanometers lithography machine has entered the production line verification, the Chinese Academy of Sciences, High Energy Light Source Project has conquered EUV light source technology, and Huawei has even quietly registered a lithography algorithm patent, etc. Just like the three-star, Layout in Go, 
China is launching an all-round offensive in the semiconductor field. Some people may have doubts. According to data, China has hoarded about 90 billion yuan of ASML lithography equipment in 2024. It is the big money of ASML and accounts for 40% of its annual revenue. Since we still need to buy so many equipment from ASML, how can it be considered a breakthrough? In fact, it is ASML that should be panicking now. The more China buys, the more ASML relies on the Chinese market. The more lithography equipment China hoards, the more opportunities it has to learn, and the closer it is to the launch of domestic lithography equipment, which is exactly ASML's nightmare. Recently, Japan's Nikkei Asia also published an article titled, Can China Build Its Own ASML? Regarding this question, Japanese chip equipment executives have long given the answer. ASML is currently in a dilemma. On the one hand, it does not want to lose the Chinese market, and on the other hand, it dare not disobey the orders of the United States. This also exposes the truth. ASML is not free. Facing China's all-out efforts, it is indeed under great pressure, and ASML's dominant position is in danger. Looking at the Chinese market, China also holds three trump cards, namely market cards, talent cards and system cards. The scale of China's semiconductor market has reached 1.5 trillion yuan, equivalent to one-third of the world, and the growth rate of returning chip talents has reached 217% in the past five years. In addition, we also have various national support policies to help. It is hard not to be daunted. There is no doubt that once China achieves independence in lithography, the global semiconductor industry will usher in a new round of reshuffle. But to quote a Chinese engineer, China does not need to copy ASML. China needs to create something cooler than EUV. Trump's submission is not what China wants. China has a bigger goal. The technology game is still going on, and the future is promising.